What's up guys? Kung he fat choy, kong si fat guy, or happy Chinese Lunar New Year to everyone. And welcome back to Cabina Games. It's time for a World Guild battle. But before we start, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do. We'd appreciate your support and a warm welcome to our new subscribers. And of course, greetings to the G Unit. Today we are battling our ex guildies and we are looking for some high health towers. It's pretty close. We're at 17% and they're at 15%. We got a few more yellow towers left here. We're gonna hit Steve826 first. What's up, Steve? Okay, you got that LD defenses and a mix of the elemental defenses. Let's see what we can bring here. All right, we ready. Let's go. G G G G G unit. G unit. G unit. Bringing in the pain with our Gemini, Reisfelg, and Light Toon Lee. We need defenses, defense, defense breaks, please. And we're gonna go fly, fly. Okay, nice to resentment, and we're pretty good. As long as the Liu Mei doesn't cut in. Alright. Okay, that's a very tanky molly, but right now we got the Light Tune Lee to finish all that, so. Orale! We got Sylvia Iris with the Perna. Um, I don't know. Well, let's soften up the Sylvia. Because the Sylvia most probably is on violent and if she procs a lot. Yeah, he's gonna be doing a lot of damage. So let's work on the Sylvia. Nice attack bar reduction from our Helena here. Okay, cry provocation. We need the CC. Oh, not the Iris. Oh, but the Iris looks like it's kind of soft. So I don't know. Let's go kill it. All right, all right, looking good. How about the Sylvia? Nice stun. Okay, well, let's keep working on the Sylvia just in case she procs out of it. Okay, the Perna's getting the Valent procs, but now more of our Helena here. Okay, okay. Kill this one. And a 3 versus 1 on the Perna. Yeah, pretty good. Um, just make sure if you're going to use this team against this defense, you bring in say a lot of minus fire artifacts or say a minus light artifact okay here comes our poseidon we need galleons defense breaks from time to loot let's go uh no at the least attack bar reductions please man if this misses it's gonna be very dangerous misses on this dominic oh no dominic Okay, Storm of Midnight, we did change up some artifacts on our beautiful Tiana over here, who is a support monster. We need to silence this Chandra. No silence. Okay, good damage, good damage. Here comes that Dominic. Okay, nice defense break. Ooh la la. Okay, Storm of Midnight. A little bit more, come on. Oh, nice you. Okay, we got a Louise with a Tessarian, and that's a Miles. We brought in our Kumun with a Covenant and Konamiya. We're gonna go headshot onto this Tessarian. And automatically, 3 versus 2. This offense is just so good against this defense. Um, yeah, generally, Kumun tanking this Miles. Right. Um, at the same time, but it's a bit dangerous, especially if this Luis was bred on, say, a speed crit rate HP build, or if the Luis is built on a damage build, because then um, the Luis would be able to do a lot of damage to your, say, Covenant, or even to uh, the Economia, right? If she gets a lot of violent procs. But yeah, overall, that. Miles is just gonna focus on this Kumun, right? And at the same time, yeah, I mean, no defense breaks. So 
doesn't really matter too much. Um, even if, say, you get a lot of violent procs, as long as you don't have a defense break, we're pretty good. Okay, we're playing around with the double rocks. A bit dangerous. Um, but the only heals are gonna come from this Ashir. So, let's go double Atlas Stone. Yeah, that's the dangerous part. Because this Monte is very RNG, you know, she's... That dice of destiny is just so RNG. Oh, okay, not much damage. Oh no, here come the Brogles. Let's go, Brogles. Yes, Goggle is on Vampire, this one. But we do have Thrasher with the Violent. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, survive, my friend. Okay, good thing the defense break went to the Trasar, because then the Skoggle just started hitting on the Trasar. Uh, there goes the stones now, and one. I don't think this Ishir can take double rock, can you? Can you take double rock? Ah, oh, 58k on that one. Okay. OP defenses from Steve826. Onwards to the next tower. We got uh, Levy or Brook. Well, it looks, like, looks like Levy has the higher health tower here. So let's go hit it. Oh, Giselle. Price of the Macaroon. GZ Levy on your new LD units. I believe those are new ones. Yeah, um, I haven't seen those guys before. Or did you have them before when we were together? I, I don't know. <laughs> let's see what we can bring here. As far as I can remember. New units, GZ, brother. All right, let's bring the tanks. A lot of players say that this is a dog comp, but honestly, if you bring in the right accuracy and hundred <laughs> percent, yeah, Maelstrom, Maelstrom, you gotta do it, brother, brother. <laughs> yeah, it's just that. You know, if, if it misses, it misses. But then, like this one, right? It's a 90%, 99% the offense. Oh, come on. <laughs> you see, the RNG can go either way. I was just going to say. <laughs> Destiny dies into <laughs> Dominic two turns. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> it doesn't matter what, like, what team you bring in you know I was gonna say even though like this team is kinda high uh, win rate I'd say it's a high win rate right but uh, I don't know if it was really good against this one but then if we survive that and if say the Dominic didn't get a violent proc or if the Destiny Dice didn't put the HP of the Molong really low or say if that HP went into someone else like maybe the Emilia or whatever I don't know yeah well I didn't put minus wind artifact on the Molong so that also may have played the difference but then again part of the matter is destiny dies so RNG OP okay here we go more of this Kumun corner combo it's just so good you know just snipe the Carcano Boom! 83k on the Kano. Oh man. OP. And then, just the same as what we did earlier. Yeah, these guys just ain't gonna do much damage. Or, I mean, they can, but then, you know, I mean, Komun with the Guardian skin tanking you all the way, baby. And while we're killing this duo, we got time for shoutouts. Shoutouts going too. We got Carlos Diaz. Statistic Soul, Samuel Contreras, we got Zephyr23456, Julio Medieros, we got more of Matak Rista, we got Lighthouse, GDWA, and Stiny5, and of course, shout out to you, our G Unit. Alright, man, I think these guys are extra tankier, like, even though. Um, the, the previous 
version of the defense was actually a Luis lead with the Kakano. Oh well. <laughs> I was gonna say they were gonna they were extra tank here, but there goes the miles. All right. Um. Yeah. Well. Again, this is a NB4 defense. I mean, offense being used on a NB5 defense. So, yeah, really good. OP team. OP offense with the Guardian skin. Oh, man. I don't know if it's the artifact or I mean we do have a hundred percent crit rate on our um our Kakana over here. Oh even stuns huh? Come on, Shema only No way you're gonna win boy uh girl Alright Okay well for this defense it's really good to see some new LD units you know especially this dark macaroon is kind of good. Um, the main damage dealer here is, of course, the light Dominic over there. <laughs> I, I forget what his name is, but you know, the dark macaroon provides two for two turns of invincibility, and I believe provokes. We do have Diaz tanking the light Dominic, and that's pretty good. Therefore, we will start working on this macaroon first. Okay, because we don't want her putting invincibility. Um, these guys might have, say, destroy runes on them, but right now I don't think they do. But it's good that we are able to put heal block on this dark macaroon. And then now we can just start working on the main damage dealer here, who is actually this Pere. Okay, nice. Defense break. Uh, how come we don't get the Valen procs like the defense would earlier you know like a violent proc for the finish um yeah come on dominic see ah oh pp well let's go anyway um three versus one against the smallie there's no way the smallie is gonna come back here for revenge and we do have destroy so pretty good okay there you go Talking about the Valid Procs. OP Molly with the Guardian skin. Yeah, we just got like a third Molly. I don't even know. Do you even need three Mollies? I don't know. Maybe Kinky, please. Okay, this one, pretty straightforward. We got Lucian and his girlfriend, Mirene. Au revoir, mon ami. <laughs> so good. <laughs> yeah, does it matter? Uh, does it matter? That defense was just asking for it, man. Definitely did. Alright, and there you have it. That's the last of our World Guild Battle Attacks. And that's a GG well played to Frenzy and to our guildies here at h, &H. Time to do some summons. Okay, we just finished our Toa hard. Going for legendary all attribute scrolls. We are summoning, I don't know, something good. We get a Lupus. That's her name, right? Well, the wind one. Um, useful, maybe? Yeah, useful some, I forget. In one of the dungeons. <laughs> okay, summoning the second all attribute scroll. I don't know what, uh, hoping for a kinky or something. Um, something new. Mikael, also good, I would say. Um, let's see. Okay, well, that's the third Wadam. <laughs> third one. Come to us. Seriously? For, uh, how many Mollies? Three Mollies, three Wadams, not even one light on Emusha. Yeah, look at this. Um, 
Wadams. See, here's the Wadam. Two Wadams already, so that's the third. And then we got the Mollies all over. Going and jumping into our rituals here, we're going to evolve this Fedora to a six star monster. Yeah, Fedora's so good. Uh, please do stand by for the next video on this one. We're going to be doing a second term offense video. Yeah, and Fedora's gonna be part of that, so please do stand by. Okay, well, we do have 60 scrolls here. Okay, lightning off the bat, we got Chloe. Okay, more lightning, which is good. We got, uh, what, what, what's that girl's name? Yeah, the water one's really good. The water mermaid. Good against, say, definitely a Gianna. Right, because when you have her, that bomb's just not gonna detonate, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. How about this girl? Yep. Other three star monsters. Pretty much food. Going for an average of 1 is to 10, right? Uh, we did get, like, say, 2 earlier, so that one not so good. Okay, more food for the second Wadam, but I don't know. Um, yeah, or maybe that is fine. We can actually build a third Iliana now. Third as well. We'll keep at it. <laughs> All good, all good. More of our meta teams. Um, yeah, one lightning in ten is a good rate. We got thirty more scrolls to go, and lightning off the bat we get Orion. Yeah, Orion definitely with the harmless prank. So good. The fire jacko. I don't know. Uh, Windy is good. I, I've seen a lot of, say, uh, the Sarion Windy Lulu team. Uh, good tanking, I must say. Good tanks. Uh, works well against a lot of defenses, especially um, those Dominic ones. Okay, uh, we got 20 more to go. Okay, Lightning is good. The Wind String Master. Pretty good against buffing opponents. Um, yep. I believe she, is she the one that blocks or is it the water one? I don't know. What do you think? Leave a comment. Let's talk about it. <laughs> or we can just check the monster box. But <laughs> yeah, I'll check that later. Um, and I'll let you know once I get it back. Um, okay, down to. A few more scrolls. Yeah, I've been thinking of saving back some LD scrolls, but because it is Chinese New Year, we got lightning. Oh, this guy, I don't even know what he's for. Also, like the fire dial sim, right? I haven't seen any fire dial sim in action. I've seen the dark dial sim in action, and that's pretty good. A uh, good tank, a good tank against light monsters, for sure. Uh, jumping into the elemental scrolls. Um, yeah, still waiting for a chompong. And uh, something new. I don't know anything new, dude. Okay, it's a new unit. But I would say the same unit from the uh, Cookie Run Kingdom. I haven't seen any of those units go into the meta unlike the street fighter ones oh did we just skip lightning i think we just skip lightning but anyway yeah we got a few more pieces to go for that transcendent scroll so that should be good we have i'd say this is around 11 light and dark summons for the new year well we already did get wadam um if you can get two lightnings or one lightning, I don't know, MB5, let's go! Ah, oh, the light bark, and that's actually a Hall of Heroes unit. I feel like we should keep going. Okay, a few more. 
Eight more summons. Man, this is pain. Pain when there's no lightning. But when there's lightning, it's like hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lightning. <laughs> okay, well. Give me some lightning. It's like a form of firework. Fireworks. Form of fireworks. Fireworks or some kind of something. Oh man. I guess the rate one is the ten. Eight. Could have been better, honestly. But looks bleak. It looks bleak. I don't know. Still hoping for one. Oh man. Yep, yeah, and that's it for today. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like if you did. And don't forget to share, like, and subscribe for more content. Have a great, happy Chinese Lunar New Year. And may the force be with you. We'll see you on the next one.